And so the thing that I think that sticks out the most with this class that we spent a ton of time with them and their families, really got to know, know them as people and to find out a little bit more about them and what makes them tick. I think that's the biggest thing in signing a class is the inside of a person, their heart, their fight, their never uh, say die attitude. And that's what we want here at Appalachian. They gotta have that passion. They had to have the, uh, the academic, the care about academics, and then they had to be good people. As looking at this class, we signed, uh, we got 14 uh, in LIs this morning, uh, seven on offense, seven on defense. We did, uh, we had two come in midterm, one offensively and one defensively. So you're looking at eight and eight, which is a really balanced class. You know, offensively, a headliner would probably be Taylor Lamb, I think, uh, as a quarterback uh, from Calhoun, Georgia. You know, Taylor was the Gatorade State Player of the Year this year in the state of Georgia. I mean, that says a lot. You know how much talent there are, there are there's down in Georgia. He, he's also played for two state championships the past two years, so he's a winner. He brings the intangibles that you want as a leader. Uh, he's very smart academically, uh, and he's a winner. Not only that, he, he can throw the football. And, he's, and he's, he has good escapability in the pocket. He can make things happen. We hired Nate Woody as the defensive coordinator. We're moving from a 4-3 to a 3-4 defense. So the, our biggest need were linebackers and safeties. A lot of these players, we had to battle down to the end with a lot of FBS schools, quite frankly. I mean, these, were, these are the kind of players that we're recruiting now against. Uh, you know, the FBS type players, uh, the Sun Belt, the MAC, uh, some of the Big East schools, ACC schools. Out of this signing class, we, we had to beat a lot of FBS people on, on numerous kids, if not all. I mean, it was just about every one of them that were getting offers from SPS programs. I don't know that if we were strictly SCS program that we'd have, we'd have had this success with these guys. So I think it really opened their minds about coming to a program that, that one day is going to be playing at the FBS level. So it certainly had a huge impact on us this, this, this recruiting season. Uh, easy to sell this place, easy to sell Appalachian State, and you know, just with our winning tradition and, and everything else that goes along with it.